This morning we're heading up through the Oak Town to a little square where there's loads of cafes and a children's park and stuff like that. And uh, I'm just going to hang out there, have a little breakfast. We're staying in Seville for today. Nice to wake up without having a train to run to this morning. Yeah. That was the first full order in Spanish. Felt good. How's your tostada? Mm. Those are genuine articles behind me, apparently. Real Roman columns. The Romans were here. Actually, that wall that we passed by yesterday to get to the Airbnb as well, that's like the part of the ancient wall that used to surround the city of Seville. They knocked a lot of it down in the 60s, but that part remains. It's definitely tapas and wine hour here. Everyone's out on the street. I know this is like a really uh, boring thing to say when you're travelling like this, but we're definitely getting our money's worth out of that pram. Uh, yeah. Got some kind of cookie, big chunky cookie, oh yum, chocolate and walnut. That's really good. I knew it was going to be good, like how chunky it is, but it's like so soft inside, it's like a cake. In Spain, I think it's loads more common for people just to drink espresso. So like most places have, a, have an espresso machine and do it quite well. I've been drinking loads of it. This is the cathedral. Europe's biggest cathedral is here in Seville. like Spain how you imagine it I think it's all orange trees there's a big massive cathedral it's the birthplace of flamenco here and there's loads of like flamenco dresses and stuff like that in the shops around everybody's sat out having a nice time we're just in the park I feel like we're traveling because we sort of travel all the time in our own country anyway we've gotten into this pattern of being new in places but just doing the same stuff Places like this, it's super cool. I'm, not really, I'm never really sure what to do when we get to places like this. I guess it's a bit like the equivalent of Trafalgar Square in London or something. Super touristy, really impressive, but um, I don't know. I quite like the old town. I quite like uh, the little back streets where we are, where we came from. Get out of here? Yeah, shall we? Let's hit it. Seville is a lot more, it's a lot bigger and it's a lot more touristy than I thought it would be. It's not a bad thing, but I just thought it was a small kind of dusty, quiet little town in Spain <laughs> that exports a lot of oranges. Uh, but it's not, it's got it going on in a big way. We're now heading back to the square that we went to this morning that's near the hotel for some dinner. Whoop.
we're wandering around the square trying to find somewhere to eat. This place that we just went to, he said uh, the kitchen opens at 8. I mean, that's too late for dinner, isn't it? Yum, okay. William's feeling the same way, I think. He's right. excited to be out this time. Patatas fritas. Chips. To me and Joe. The crinkle cut. We're getting a good surface area of crispiness here. Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Mm. 